Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're here with the game finals of the 1v1 tournament. Well, 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 says the Coops as they face off once again. The last time these two faced off in an official tournament was in the Galaxy League, again in the finals. And now this is going to be the rematch. Who will take it? Mr. Freeze, what were the picks and bans this time around? Are you ready for the picks and bans were... Um... Oops, where did those go? They're gone. Lost in time. They're I, gone. I don't know. Where, I don't know where they went. But as we see, Duke Oops uh, picked Justin and um, Darth picked Levka. So they aren't really picking the meta characters really here. Um, kind of interesting. I'm not sure. Um, maybe they just kind of agreed to do that for a little bit more of a fair game. Should be interesting though. I did find it here. It looks like the Coops actually banning Violet and. Darth banning Tor, and I guess it's a mutual agreement to not pick Bjorn. Yeah, I, I bet you that's exactly what happened, and, and so we will probably see the exact same thing happen um, next game too. So we'll be looking at possibly Levka versus Justin for the series. My goodness, that aim from Darth, just on point. Every pistol shot right to the head. Now what? What? Athletes are still left up. Well, actually, we can talk about that after here, but in the final loop, you can see the Coops is going to spot out that clone too. Right Taken down here. No more health packs left. Darth is full health. The Coops is full health. Now they're going to make their push. 1.5 seconds left. The Coops able to land that last shot here. Oh, oh, just getting barely on top of the point. Wow, wow, wow. Your point. Yeah, I mean, he pushed an OT, which I didn't think was going to happen. I think he's going to take it out by Darth here, but... Darth 3 is staring him down. I think he still has bolts left in the clip um, with very low HP. I think Dukutus 3 is going to get taken out here. There is one health pack up left, though. What's happening? Oh, no. He synced? Mm, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a sort of agreement that they know it's Oh, oh I think... was it a zero second bug? It was a zero second bug. Oh. He killed him the very last second, so um, he's actually going to get a full fresh clone here. But it looks like they're going to be playing it out, so, you know, good sportsmanship. Nailed it. Damn, the Coop's still getting shot in the face, though. And I think either they'll play it out. Yeah, it should have been Darth point. You can see him there on top of the mm -hmm. point, but he respawning. It looks like they're just going to play it out here. The Coops clone two is going to get desynced. The clone three for Darth. Can we get the health pack, get back into the action here. Darth might be able to take on the Coops. He is peeking around the barricade here, able to desync him here. And as time has already told it, it looks like it's going to go a point in favor of Darth. Darth had the health pack here, um, which is good because he had low health. But he actually takes it. He's forced to take it because of the rush from the Coops' two. So those two threes, they're actually a um, fair fight between them. Same HP. And we see Darth just kind of lasers the Coops. The Coops jumps on point a little bit early. He's out of cover, and Darth peeks and just takes him out. Takes point with two of his clones there. One round to Darth. And it's exactly as we guessed there, or as you guessed there, Mr. Freeze. Darth was able to desync the coops at the 0 0.0 seconds and it kind of glitched out and they decided to play it out anyways with good sports and chip. So very close. I If the coops, the coops was at solo HP there. I mean, he got taken at the very last second, but he almost took out Darth. Um, so he almost took a round off there and it's it's been pretty close. I think from the previous match too, him versus so lucky, I think the favor, you know, would would be so lucky to win that one even though it would be a really close game and i i'm kind of sad we missed it because the coops ended up coming to win in that and now he's coming up against darth and it's, it's being very close like this uh got darth down to half hp for that that too um yeah i i like as we move forward we're seeing all the players start getting closer and closer to that even playing ground you know um not so much dominated by one single player anymore i know loop darth Gonna spot out the Coops of Clone 2, try to take him down. The Coops of Clone 3 is playing very, very defensively. He will be able to pick up the health pack here. Darth is gonna go back into it here. The Coops of Clone 3 not gonna pick up any health pack. He's gonna opt out of it here, but he's gonna get desync. Darth with the laser beam shots to the Coops' face at the second point of the game. The 
keeps us three decided to play back. I'm not sure how much the pre-fires have really um, done much to change the tie this game for Justin. I don't think he's really gotten too many pre-fires off. And at the same time, of course, no invisibility strats. Levka isn't too useful, um, perhaps just besides seeing where a clone's going for a health back. Both players playing very defensively. Loop number one. Rather usual strat here. Not sure where Darth is looking here, but this time DeCoops is going to be the one with the advantage. Just barely, he is going to get that kill on point. Gun model blocked you. <laughs> I've, I've never actually seen somebody use the gun model blocking somebody in their vision to their advantage. That's such a small thing. Yeah, I don't know if you'd be able to purposely do that. And I think it's just because these players scream each other so much. Darth, DeCoops has been going ramps a lot in these past few little while. And then mm -hmm. he got surprised. But in the final loop, DeCoops is not going to play ramps again. He is going to spot get spotted by Darth here. Forces him to get the health pack nice and early. Going to rush towards getting his own health pack here. Meanwhile, Darth is already rushing to his other health pack. Gonna have a little bit of advantage here. Darth gonna be able to desync the coops, get on top of the point, and that's gonna be the first game win going in favor of Darth. Three to zero. I feel like it was a little closer than just a sweep, but you know, Darth is a really strong opponent, and the coops is obviously the underdog here uh, for this matchup. So, but yeah, I'm I'm rooting for him. I'm I think he can. Uh, I think he'll take a, a game off of, off of Darth here. It definitely is possible here. I'd say it's very difficult for him to take the win, but we'll see how that plays out here. In the meantime, we're going to take a short break as we get game two set up.
here we are with game number two in the best of five finals match for the premier tier tournament 1v1 and it's Darth vs the Coops, Mr. Freeze. Let's take a look again at the picks and bans. The picks and bans are going to be the same as last time. So we're going to see um, Levka versus Justin here. And I believe it was uh, Violet who was banned. Let's have a good clean game. So this time around, both players. Well, a lot of varying strategy here, but the Coops is actually going to play very defensively, going for more pre-fire shots with Justin. Trying to use his ability as advantage. He's, uh, you can see him, he shoots the left health pack um, around 7 seconds, which is a good typical time to pre-fire that pack. Be interested to keep an eye on that and see if he gets any pre-fires and maybe even a kill. Now, Dekoops is pretty good for playing Justin as well because he has a lot of experience with different types of play styles, especially against Darth. He has a typical sense of where Darth is going to come out of. Ooh, unfortunately, there on the pistol, he wasn't able to put the shots down on Darth like he needed to. I think Darth's, Darth's footwork and uh, just kind of juked him out a little bit. And Darth's too, he's actually quite aware that Justin pre fired that back there. He dodged all the pre fire shots. Uh, the, those big brain stats coming in from both players here, but the Coops didn't get pre-fired on by his own clone. Didn't pre plan that out too well, but it looks like he's going to try to go for a barrel explosion. Just try to cheese Darth a little bit, but not enough cheese as he takes himself down, and that's going to be Darth coming in for the first point. Yeah, unfortunately, he plays left side. Completely forgot that his one just absolutely lasers that health pack at about 10, 9 seconds, and he's just standing right there, so he takes the full brunt of it. And at that point, um, you just had a big disadvantage from Darth. And that Justin free fire damage, though, damn. Yeah, it, it can really do a lot here. So, looks like uh, Dekoops is going to do the same strat, playing back, pre firing that same health back. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if Darth just. Um, kind of waits out that pre-fire again like he had last time we'll have to see we almost need to coops to kind of force him to take that health back a little bit earlier perhaps to get that pre-fire to pop off here comes darth with the second loop able to spot the the coops clone one take a little bit of damage from the coops clone two looks like the coops trying to go for a little bit of a sneaky play just jumping be hopping across he is able to get the health pack get back into the action but the pre-fire shot, you can see with that up arrow, taking down Darth Clone 2. <laughs> Hell Good yeah, pass by that one, for sure. And then uh, also, Dekoops played pretty well with the other health pack there. Um, he actually, I think, had a little bit of a pre-fire from his one onto Dekoops' two here. Uh, we'll see what happens. That was actually pretty good timing, pretty well planned by Dekoops here. It looks like he's going to go for an aggressive push turn onto Darth. He needs to land one more shot over on Darth with the pistol, but Darth is going to be able to take him down. And that, again, clone two for Darth on top of the point. That's going to be the second point, bringing him much closer to the match victory. Or, I guess, just this game victory. Darth played it pretty well here. He he started pushing that point, um, didn't end up going for it because Dekoops is going to take him here. Instead of jumping on point here with his three, he just uses the barrier and jump peaks um, while... The Coops is jumping on, and that gives him enough time to kill the Coops' three and take out the one to clean up. Two rounds in Darth's favor here. The Coops needs a reverse sweep him for this game. That's easier said than done. This time, the Coops is going to pre fire over onto that health pack again. Hopefully, he doesn't walk in front of it like he did last time. They're going for it. Now, does Darth playing Levka really do much for him this game? I don't think it is. I think, if anything, it's just giving him a little bit of a, a clue as to which health pack that Dekoops might go for when he gets desynced. But I don't think it's really been giving him any advantage at all here. You see, the Justin, I think, is, is honestly a little bit better of a utility pick than Levka. Um, Levka's only really useful in invisibility strats for the most part. And the way this game's going, it looks like Darth might be able to close out this third loop. And the battle for the third point here he is able to spot out the Coops, bring him down pretty low. 
almost take him down here, but Koops gets the health pack to get right back into the action. Darth is going to get the health pack right after he gets these things here, but he's got his clones on top of the point. Him and his homeboys are going to celebrate as they get the next game win, bringing him one step closer to a match win. Koops was just stuck in a rock and a hard place right here. Um, he gets the desync on Darts 3, um, but then Darts 3 just picks up the health pack. And he's already, he's low health. He's in a bad position. He has to reload. And actually, he didn't even have enough time to really get on point there unless he pushed out um, earlier. It, it was just a hard spot. And he had to clean up Darts' clones too. Really, really just not looking good for him there. And Darts going to sweep him. Now we'll be back for our third match in the best of five match against the Coops and Darth in the grand finals. Well, stay tuned. Here we are with the potentially the last game of the night. Darth versus the Coops in the finals and a 2-0 in favor of Darth. All Darth has to do is win one more game to clear out another finals victory under its belt. And Mr. Freeze once again, maybe for the last time, takes some bands. Let's hear it. Um, Tor and Violet were both banned, so they have chosen Justin Levka. We're going to see a um, the exact same picks as the previous two games, because of course uh, Bajaran they are just deciding not to uh, use him at this moment. And we're looking, we're actually looking at the exact same thing. Darth is actually on point a lot earlier than he usually is um, here, getting a little bit more aggressive. But we did see Decoops doing the same strat, uh, pre-firing um, the left pack or Blue's right side pack actually with Justin. And really, I think Decoops needs to change it up a little bit because I think Darth is going to expect this. Looks like he might be changing it up just ever so slightly here. However, these two players play almost exactly the same. They both play defensively for the most part and then play health packs. They don't really use any other weapons either. SMG pistol is the way to go for both of them. Yeah, we, I mean, we know Darth. He, always, he pretty much always plays safe, doesn't change it up much. We've seen him rush packs a couple times just for a bit of surprise or if, he, if it gives him advantage. But yeah, th these two players are very consistent. Darth's going to spot out that clone 3 for the Coops here, but he's going to change his focus onto the clone 2. Clone 2 is now out of this game. There's no way he can come back here with 3 seconds left. The Coops is going to rush towards the health pack to get right back into this game. And now Darth is going to make his push, but he desyncs de all three of the Coops' clones. And that's going to be the first point of favor of Darth. It's quite hard to B-hop, jump, and shoot um, at the same time. That's what the Coops had to do as he jumped on a point here with his 3. And Darth's 3 just pretty much stood still, jig a little bit to... Uh, throw off any aim of the coops and just take took him out before he could even reach it darth has just had a lot of a lot of good control this uh for all the games that we've seen i 
feel like Darth just has a lot of control on everything, just forever. <laughs> yeah. Like the moment the Koops peeks around the corner, he just launches all of his shots, and like, all the Koops does is take one step out, and just he's gone. That said, though, Darts One is kind of standing, kind of still in middle point, out of cover, though. So maybe the Koops can capitalize on that. Say it is one. He needs momentum. I'll just see if he's able to capitalize that. What momentum he's going to bring into it here. He's able to bring some significant damage onto that clone two. Not able to take him down, but the clone one and clone two for the Goop is going to get taken out. That's a huge advantage for Darth. Loop number two. What actually happened here too is the Koops, uh he was firing at Darth's two, but he ended up ignoring him. He's going to try and take out that two later on in this third loop. We'll see if that plan is going to pay off here. Darth is going to focus down to Koops' two. He's got to be careful here. Might be able to take him down here. Dekoops clone two. Gonna get stay alive for in the meantime, but Dekoops clone three does get taken down. Health pack back up. Taken down again. And that's gonna be the game victory. Or not the game. Oh, one step away, guys. So we're getting too far ahead of ourselves. But the point victory. One more point is all he needs to win it. So Dekoops played really well with uh he was focusing the two on uh Darth's side. Darth actually did the same thing though, so that's why uh Dekoops' two was so low here. Dekoops uh damaged Darts two well enough to get uh, his his clone surviving that gun battle between them. But because Darth damaged him well, just not enough uh, health to really push an OT there. And unfortunately, Dekoops lost that uh, clone three versus clone three fight. And now Dekoops has to do everything in his power to do whatever play, just pull everything out of the bag here and try to take Darth down. But that's not what's happening here. What we're seeing is just Darth outright obliterating Dekoops as he makes his way to the point every time. It's going to be tough because as we see, Dekoops has not changed his strategy at all in any of the games we've seen here. He pre-fires left his the blue side left health pack with his one. His two usually pushes left side, grabs that health pack as he's doing now, and then he gets a little bit aggressive. So Darth just knows what's going to happen. And when you're playing someone like Darth that has just such solid aim, um, you know, it's it's you, you got to change it up, I think. Um, caught, catch him off guard, get a side angle on him to get a couple, a little bit more damage down, maybe win those gunfights. Here comes potentially the final moment of the game here, the final loop. Battle for point number three, and Darth is already going to spot out the Koops. The Koops is going to be able to pick up the health pack, get back into the action. Meanwhile, the Koops is going to wreak havoc over on the backside here, but Darth is going to do the exact same thing. Clone 2 is already out. Now it's a one on one battle. The Koops able to get on top at this time and finally getting his first point in the series <laughs> he wins this round because he changed it up he played the same way with his one his two but his three he rushes the health pack takes out darts two now that allows darts three to push in the red side take out the coops two as well but that's okay because whenever they both jumped on point for the joust there uh the coops won that gunfight during the three so him rushing that health pack on blue side allowed him to turn the tides and Darth tried to counter it, but at the end, um, the Koops won the gunfight. And yeah, that's that's what we need to see. A little bit of a change up here. Gave the Koops the round, but he has a long way to go. He definitely does. He's got to go for a reverse sweep in every way possible. That was a close uh, uh, clone one versus clone one there. Darts was just on like 3 HP, maybe 5. Now if a reverse sweep was possible, it'd have to be within these next two loops. But at the moment, the Koops going to spot out that clone 2 for Darth. Might be able to take him down. Oh, the explosion. I don't think the explosion had any factor. That was just a good old fashioned no. shot. I don't think it did at all. That was uh, just a spray down from the Koops. So he has momentum going into this third loop here. He just needs to protect his 2 and make the three take a health pack and then damage him after all right ladies and gentlemen potentially the final point again or is this going to be reverse sweep can't whoever you want to win in this next coming moments here Dekoop's going to get the health pack get back into the action here he might get decent again he's got 48 hp he's got to land his shots into darth he lands that shot the Koops on top of the point and that is another point let's go yep. ladies and gentlemen 
look at what happens here. We actually see a complete, uh, the Coops actually did exactly what Darth did to him in a previous game. Um, he gets taken out and he, he desyncs, and instead of pushing on point, the Coops has the momentum with his one and his two. He knows that Darth's three has to focus on his previous clones. Darth has to push point there, because the only way he's going to push an OT is if he's on point. So instead of pushing point, the Coops stays back behind the barrier, jump peeks Darth and kills him. It's exactly what we saw from uh, Darth's perspective, what Darth did, or Darth did before. Um, and Dukoops ends up winning that and tying it up here. Really well played. Really good turnaround. This is getting exciting. I know. Oh my gosh, this is so back and forth already. Darth was showing so much dominance in the last last few games in this beginning half of the game, and now Dukoops suddenly just turned some switch. Maybe he fueled himself up with some G fuel, and he's just going at it here, ready to destroy Darth. Could be it. I think it's just a slight change of the strategies, and, and he's also winning a couple gunfights that, that's really changing it here. Unfortunately, it looks like he's not going to have momentum going into loop three. So that is bad news bears for Dukoops. He needs this round win to stay into this in this final. And now for real, coming into this third loop, unless this is overtime, this could be it. No paradoxes. Time going to be set in stone. How is that going to play out here? Darth is going to spot out and take down Dukoops with Clone 2. That's going to be huge for Darth. That's going to might definitely going to heavily swing it still in his favor here. A few seconds left on the clock here. That barrel explosion, the laser beam to the face, and that's Darth closing out the finals for the match win. And now we've got our premier tier 1v1 tournament winner, Darth. Now watch what du uh, Darth takes out Dukoops here. He doesn't even need the health pack because he actually doesn't get damaged. He forces him to take the health pack and he, he shoots that barrel to zone Dukoops off of pushing onto point there. Uh, really well played shot. And then whenever the, the smoke clears, he's already be hopping on point. Lasers Dukoops. Well played um, by Darth. 3-2 to two for the final game, but it's going to go into Darth's favor for the championship. My goodness. Such 